Hello everybody and welcome to Storm Reads and today I have an announcement. So, everybody knows that I do Retro Romance Readathon in February and that I like to kind of do a summer version that's shorter in July. And so that's what this announcement is going to be for. I am doing this again with my lovely co-host Sarah from the Bookish Knitter. And this year we've decided to do seasons. Um, last year we did like Christmas. And I know like not everybody likes to just read Christmas books. And so I thought, well, seasons. Everybody could read a book from their favorite season. And it's very relaxed. Nobody wants a lot of rules and regulations. At least I don't in the summer months. You want to be more laid back. You want to be able to pick up a book and it to count for something, you know, <laughs> at, at least me. And even if I make prompts, I never follow them. And I know some people like structure, which is why I've kind of got guidelines. So like for it to be a retro, it has to be from 2004 and earlier. So, you know, I read a lot of like the 70s, 80s and 90s. Uh, romances and things like that. So it has to be like that. So uh, if you want to read something a little newer, about 2000 to 2004 is about as new as it gets whenever it comes to the Retro Romance Readathon. And uh, also, you you might be thinking, well, how am I supposed to know if it's set in the spring, summer, winter, or whatever? Because you can't always tell by the book, and you can't always tell by the cover. Because the cover could look very much like a winter book and be something else. So, I, you know, or spring or summer or whatever. So, here's what I'm going to do. And these are just some things that I'm going to go off of. If it's not set in uh, winter, but it looks winter on the cover, I'm going to say, hey, this was my winter read. <laughs> so, like this. It's very green. I don't know what season it's set in, but the cover's very green, so I'm going to say this is my summer book. This looks very wintry, so I could say this is my winter book. It may not even be winter, but I can say this is my winter book just by going by like that. This also says seasons on it, so maybe you have a book that says seasons. You know, maybe it says fall or summer or spring or winter on the cover that would work too this one looks very fallish this one looks spring or summer maybe because of the picture this one spring or summer i'm thinking spring because there's an umbrella and we get a lot of rain <laughs> it's up to your interpretation um this one I could say it looks like winter because it's almost all white, but there's this really pretty, like, sunset or something that, like, screams, like, I don't know, summer. So you could do either or. Kind of like with this one, I think it looks very summery, but it also could fit, like, very wintry, too, because of the colors. You could also look in here and see when it came out. And so this edition came out in July of 1998. So I could use this for my summer because July is a summer month. Now, if you live in a different hemisphere and you're experiencing winter right now, or, you know, autumn, winter is coming up or whatever, then you can, you know, use your months. You don't have to go by, like, December is winter for us. If July is winter for you or or autumn or whatever fall, you can you can use that, you know. You you just do your wherever you live, whatever seasons are for you, <laughs> you do that. And everything. So that's just some of the ways that I am going to judge my books whenever I go hunting for what I think I might want to read. You know, I'm very moody. I'm a very much a mood reader. A lot of times I may have like this giant pile of possibilities. And that pile of possibilities, is, I'm probably going to do most of them by what the covers look like and um, what date they came out in, like the month that they came out in. And that's how I'm going to judge my seasons. 
I'm not going to search and see, is this a summer book or is this a spring book or is this a fall, you know, because that's just too much work. <laughs> so, you know, you do it however you want. If you want to search and make sure that the book you're reading is a spring book or a fall book or whatever, you do that. You can and everything. But I just want it to be nice and relaxed. You only have to read one book to participate. And I don't remember, did I say the dates? Because <laughs> it's from the 7th through the 21st, if I didn't say it. I can't remember if I did. And this is like the fourth or fifth time I've done this. And so I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> so it's from July 7th through the 21st, but you can read them all month long. Or you can just pick one retro book to read during that time period and you've participated. So let me know down below if you're going to participate in this readathon with me and celebrate my birthday because my birthday is July 11th and that's why I usually pick July to do this. <laughs> and uh, hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!